beats. Holla at me. What's up, Haven Nation? I'm Tyler Rumsey. And I'm Kalen Shapolowski, and this is Last Week in Haven Athletics Today. Basically, the concept of this show is we're going to bring you a recap of everything that happened last week with box scores, stats, and video highlights. But we're going to bring it to you every Wednesday. Absolutely. So, if there's a big-time softball game on a Tuesday afternoon, you guys are going to find out about it on a Wednesday. But if there's a big-time baseball game Wednesday night, you won't see it until next Wednesday. So sit back, buckle your seatbelts, and enjoy last week in Haven Athletics today. today. All right, we'll kick it off. LHU Women's Hoops versus Kutztown last Wednesday. The Lady Eagles jumped out to an early lead. Here we go. J.J. Hilliard getting ready. Hits the mid-range two to put the Lady Eagles in front. Later on in the game, Lauren Kaiser down the lane with a pretty dime to Marissa Moyer for two. There's Sammy Lane hitting the jumper. Lady Eagles hold on to win here. As you see, Kutztown's Natalia Lee getting a last-second effort. The shot goes up, and it is no good, and the Lady Eagles hang on for the win. 59-58 over Kutztown. Hilliard had a game-high 18 points for the Lady Eagles. Marissa Moore, 14 points, 12 rebounds, 3 blocks. Sammy Lane just dropped 16. Uh, the trio combined for 48 of 59 points for LHU. All right, when Wally Hepburn laces up the sneaks, you know what it is. Men's hoops versus Kutztown. Al Blunt here, Julian Bond there. That's good for three. Lockhaven Aaron pass stolen by Kutztown's Tyler Brooks as he goes in for the jam. Wally Hepburn from deep. That's good for all three. Next, Rice Hunt lost art to the mid-range jumper. Two points for Lockhaven. Theo West down low. I ain't say nothing, but that ain't right. Big boy, Eaton. Lockhaven final score, 84-82. Wally Hepburn finished 19 points, six rebounds, four blocks on the game. Howard Sellers, 18 points for Kutztown in the loss. LHU Wrestling Friday night versus Ryder. After three straight losses to open the bout, number 24 ranked Dan Neff. Upsets number 19 BJ Clegg and 7-4. Raise your hand if you win. Aaron McKinney up next picks up a huge victory, defeating number 32 Connor Brennan 3-1 in a sudden victory. Big dub for Aaron McKinney there. Tyler Wood on the mat next, laying the wood. Picking up that W, 6-1 over Steve Nelson. Number 28, Freddie Garcia beats number 32, Clint Morrison, 5-3 to make the match. 15-12, Lockhaven in the lead. Nice headband, Freddie. Phil Sprinkle, major decision over Donald McNeil, 14-1. You heard me, 14-1. That gives LHU a 16-15 lead, their first lead of the duel. Phil Sprinkle, well done, sir. It comes down to the last match of the night. The showcase, the main event, the heavyweight, 285. Brad Emmerich fell just short, 3 to 2, giving Ryder the final victory, 18 to 16. Big wins for Neff, McKinney, Wood, Garcia, and Sprinkle on the night. Ryder also solid. Now, time for some Olympic sports. We got men's and women's track and field at the Grand Valley State Big Meet. Big day for the Lady Eagles, number of PSAC marks hit. Also a big day for Jake Heim, through 60.2. That is a personal best, second in LHU history, and ranks 22nd in the nation. All right, finishing up here with some Saturday hoops box scores. Lock Haven versus Millersville. Lady Eagles first. Sweep the season series against Millersville in a foul fest Saturday. 63-59, to 59, the Haven wins. Marissa Moyer scores eight points and grabs ten boards in the game. Rachel McDaniel added 11 points. Alea Hall led Millersville with 13. All right, and for the men versus Millersville, they also pick up the win, 78-71. Wally Hepburn, 25 points. He shot 16 of 18 from the free throw line. Currently leads the PSAC in scoring at 19.6 per game and was named PSAC Player of the Week last week for his efforts. 